morning, Liz Yogis. We're so glad to have you guys join us this morning. My name is Marianne Ames. I will be teaching a part of vinyasa for you this morning. I am so fortunate to be joined to my left. Vicky. And to my right. Kelly. Two amazing yogis we have at our Bliss Studio. As always, Child's Pose is accessible to you at any time in your practice. Taking breaks when your body needs and drinking water when your body asks. Today we will start in Child's Pose. And that might look a little bit different for each of you. Maybe Embryo Pose, a variation of Child's Pose, feels better for you. Knees are a little bit closer together, like Kelly's hands are alongside, forehead is on the mat. If that's uncomfortable, you're welcome to place a cushion or a block underneath your forehead. And then we have child's pose with your knees a little bit wider, toes touch at the back of the room, and hands are passive in front of you. Take these first couple minutes of class to just begin to arrive and settle in the room. Transitioning from wherever we've been throughout our day into your studio, into your practice, onto your mat, your home for this next hour. Begin to connect with the energy of the earth beneath you. Allow it to ground you in the present moment. Staying connected to your body, the body you brought with you today. Begin to notice breath and just become an observer of your own breath. Noticing breath as it enters into your body. Noticing breath as it stays in your body. And noticing breath as it leaves your body. Staying connected to your breath with intention, find three full rounds of breath, breathing in through your nose. Exhaling, open mouth, a shade. Continuing with your breath, your own rhythm, your own pace, working with intention to make that oceanic sound with your breath. Imagine there's a mirror in front of your nose. You're trying to fog that mirror up with your breath. Joining this one breath, one community. Take a full deep breath in through your nose. Drag it on the back of your throat. Feel your belly balloon. Allow your lungs to expand. Then open up your mouth. H-A. Beautiful breath. Take another full deep breath in through your nose. Breathe to lowest belly. Pull your breath up into your diaphragm. Expand in all directions. Open your mouth. Let it go. Draw another full, deepest breath. This time, allow your lips to seal. Send your breath all the way down your body to the tips of your toes. Take another sip. Hold. Settle and find stillness. Then slowly send the breath back out through your nose. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your nose. Staying connected to this ujjayi breath, this oceanic quality of breath, allowing it to guide you through your class today. Begin to activate your child's pose. Fingertips walk forward. Allow your forearms to lift off the mat. Sink your hips a little bit further to the back of the room, breathing space and length between each vertebrae in your spine. Allow your shoulders to come away from your ears. Then press your fingertips into the mat. Tend through your fingertips. Roll your shoulder blades down and back. Breathe in the space behind your heart. Feel your upper back expand. Staying connected to the breath. Lower your palms to the mat. Press your palms into the mat. Rise up into tabletop position. Moving mindfully with your body. Stack your joints. Your knees come underneath your hips. Your wrists come underneath your shoulders. Stretch the crown of your head towards the mirror. And then we're going to begin to floss out our spine. On an inhale, look up. Tail up, your belly drops. On an exhale, press the mat away. Ground your spine, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round, press away. Continue to move through your cat cow, taking it where you'd like, making any variations that feel good for you. 
Maybe you choose to stay static. Maybe you want to take hip circles. Maybe shifting yourself from side to side, honoring your body. Take any movements to prepare you for your class, warming yourself up. Return back to a neutral spine. Notice belly as is. Give your belly some love. Then Uriana Banda, belly button, up and in, navel to spine, protecting core throughout your class. Extend your left arm long, take your thumb to the top, point your right toe long behind you. On an inhale, lengthen long. On an exhale, elbow to knee, round and contract. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach and stretch long. On an exhale, find baby bow. Grab your hand, reach for the back of your foot, press, and then kick away. If this is okay for your neck, your gaze can be up and over your left shoulder. Otherwise, shift your gaze down to the mat. Kick away, feel expansion. Release, inhale, stretch long. On an exhale, plant your hands, plant your knees, and then take any movement you need. Set yourself up for the opposite side. Stretch your right hand, thumb is at the top. Point your left toes long. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, round in, elbow to knee. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, round, contract. Inhale, reach and stretch. And on an exhale, find your baby bow again. Take the time, kick away. Again, be mindful of your neck. Inhale, reach, stretch everything long. Exhale, plant your hands. Roll over your toes, hover your knees off the mat, find yourself in beast. Belly up and in, press into your toes. Press them out away, slightly dome between your shoulders. Just beginning to build a little bit of work in your solar plexus. Then slowly begin to rock and roll your beast just a little bit. Then lift your hips high, find yourself in your downward facing dog. Happy downward facing dog, go ahead and take the time to walk your dog legs from side to side, shifting your hips. Maybe deep knee bends feel good for you, little squats. As you press into your toes, feel the lengthen in lengthening in your Achilles, your calves, your hamstrings. I love how everybody does a little something different. It's all about listening to your body. Return to your static dog. On an inhale, bend your knees a lot, press into your toes. On an exhale, flare your hips high, your legs lengthen long. Soften your heels towards the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, bend your knees a lot, press into your toes. Exhale, lift your hips, lengthen your legs, heels soften. Body is like a capital letter A shape. With control and core up and in, begin to roll forward. Find yourself in a high plank. Walk your hands forward. In your high plank, press into your toes. Lift your heels high, core up and in. Stack your shoulders on the top of your wrists. Begin to bend your knees, send your hips towards the back of the room. Find yourself in your dog. Shift forward, high plank. On an exhale, bend your knees. Dog, continue to floss your spine out, rolling through articulation of your spine. You get to choose your pace. Maybe you want to stay static in a certain part of this posture, it can feel better. You can always lower to your knees or shorten the distance. Inhale, high plank. And on an exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk your dog out again, get into the areas that you need. Press your palms into the mat, come up on your tippy toes, bend your knees slowly, tippy toe your feet to meet your hands, giving your core a little extra work. Once your feet arrive, find yourself in rag doll. You can bend your knees a lot if that feels good, glue your chest to the tops of your thighs. Maybe you decide to sway like Kelly from side to side, reaching for opposite elbows. Maybe you want to stay static like Nikki. You get to choose. Your palms can rest on the mat also. Taking what you need. 
Releasing and letting go what you can. On the next, so bring your fingertips to the mat. So, so, so your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Find a length from the crown of your head to the tip of your tailbone. On an exhale, fold deeply. Bend your knees a lot. Salute the sun palms. Touch over your head. Anjali Mudra prayer position. Bring your hands right into heart center. On an inhale, heart lifts up to greet hands. On an exhale, take the time. Press your thumbs into your heart. Are we not blessed to live another day? If you came with an intention, view it in your mind's eye. Attach your intention to your breath. Breathe it into every part of your being. As you breathe out, let go of anything standing in the way of your sweetest intention. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale, happy lift. Exhale, high plank, first option, plant your hands, step your feet back behind you. You can always lower to your knees at any time. Stack your joints, shoulders over wrists, press into your toes, heels lift high. Squeeze your elbows in tight, lower knees, belly, chest and chin all the way down to the mat. Press the tops of your toes into the mat, bring your fingertips next to your chest. Slowly begin to lift your chest up off the mat, bouge and baby, over shoulders away. Breathe in, breathe out, pour everything down to the mat. Bring your fingertips outside of your mat, press into your fingertips, keep your elbows wide. Slowly press into your fingertips, lift your chest high. On an exhale, lower down, and then begin undulating cobra. This is what Brett told me the name of it was. I call it spooky, scary, spider. So you guys can decide what you want to do. It's not what you do, it's how you move it. One more time through. Exhale, lower everything down. Bring your fingers next to your chest. Roll over your toes. You can either press back through your knees or find high plank. Lift your hips high. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees low. Look forward. Jump, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen space. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, arms sweep out wide, find your back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, second option. You can jump or step back, and then you can always lower your knees, stack your joints, squeeze your elbows in tight, shift forward, lower halfway, hover. Keep your elbows in tight, belly up and in. On an inhale, roll over your toes, upward facing dog, full round of breath here. Spread your collarbone out wide. Lift your heart high. On an exhale, roll over your toes, lift your hips high, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees low, look forward, find your way. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, knees bend, arms come out wide, shine your heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa flow, pick and choose your variation, jump, step, or hop back. Find a high and low push up, you can always take your knees. Inhale. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog, deep breath in. H-A. We're going to go through the vinyasa two more times. You can always choose your variation. Choosing to lower to your knees at any time. You can skip all of that nonsense and simply meet us back in your dog or tabletop. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees low and forward. Jump, step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Sweep your arms out wide. Find your back bend. Exhale, folds. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Choose your variations. 
Sing with your breath, honoring your body. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. We'll take it one more time through. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, knees low, look forward, jump, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Salute the sun, biggest back bend so far. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, choosing your variation. Jump, step, or hop. You can always lower to your knees. Breathe in, heart lifts. Breathe out, hips back. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, half scorpion. Bend and stack. Press equally into both of your hands. Feel your right shoulder shift down, chest is square. You can bring your right knee up towards the ceiling. Maybe bring your right toes towards your left shoulder. Maybe it feels good to point and flex. Look the scorpion tail in this room. Inhale, your right leg high, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Bring your right knee to your left tricep. Lift it up high, three legged dog. Four more times through. Right, I love you. Left, lift it high, three more times. Right, left, I love you, two more times. Right, left, I love you, one more time. Right, left, inhale, right high, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, flex your toes, low crescent moon. Step your right leg through, lower your left knee to the mat. On an inhale, arms sweep up high. On an exhale, bend your elbows, cactus your arms, heart lifts. Stay connected to breath. Ooh, my legs are really shaky this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. Inhale, lift your arms back up high. On an exhale, plant your hands, little runners lunge. Step your left foot forward to right, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, plant your hands, jump, step, or hop back. Find your vinyasa, stay with breath. On an exhale, downward facing dog, full deep breath in. H-A. Inhale, left high. You guys notice I leave you guys on this part. Exhale, bend and stack, half scorpion. They just can't hear me down there. Wait a minute. Roll up your ankles, point and flex. See what the smiles on your face. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Bring your knee over to the right. Lift it high, three leg, five more times. Left, right, high, four more. Left, right, high, three more. Left, right, high, two more. Left, right, high, one more time. Left, right, inhale, left, high. Exhale, knee to nose, flex your toes, low crescent moon. You can lower right knee, arms sweep up, settle in. On an exhale, bend your elbows, cactus, maybe find a slightly deeper back there, maybe gaze to the ceiling. Opening whole front body. Inhale, arms lift up high. On an exhale, clench your hands. Step forward, right knees left. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, clench your hands. Move through your vinyasa. Sing with your breath again, taking any variation body asks for. On an exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we're going to continue to build onto our ladder a little bit. You're welcome. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right to right, over to left. Three more times. Right, you can always take this from knees and tabletop. Two more, right, left, up. One more, right, left, lift it high. Knee to nose, flex your toes, low crescent moon. Lower your knee to the mat. Inhale, arms sweep up high. Exhale, find a shoulder rinse. Bring your hands to the small of your back. Lift your heart high. Press your hips forward. Stay with breath. Three rounds here. Inhale, bring your arms back up high. On an exhale, plant your hands forward. Fold left knees right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, plant your hands. Jump step or hop back. Find your variation. And on an exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left to left, cross over to right. Bring it up, three more. 
Two more. Left, right. One more. Left, right in the left high. Exhale, knee to nose, flex your toes low, crescent moon, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, shoulder, rinse, hands in the small of your back. You can always use a washcloth or a strap if you have. Continue to press your hips forward as you lift your heart high. Sometimes when we expose our heart, we can feel a little nauseous just sitting with it. Inhale, lift your arms back up high. On an exhale, plant your hands forward, fold right knees left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa flow, hands plant, move through your vinyasa. Stay connected to your body. Breathe in, breathe out, downward facing dog, full breath in. H-A. Add it onto our ladder, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right to right, over to left, two times. One more time, right to right, over to left. Inhale, right high. Exhale, knee to nose, flex your toes, step it through. Low crescent moon. On an inhale, your arms lift up, interlace all ten fingers, release your index finger, Kali Mudra. Exhale, press your hips forward. Begin to find a deeper back bend here. Release your mudra, stabilize, roll over your back, left toes rise up, high crescent lunge. Take a few breaths to settle your crescent lunge. Press into your back. Right, left toes, with your left heel high. Stack your right knee right over top of your ankle. When you are taking this posture, slide your pinky fingers in. Inhale. On an exhale, find your shoulder wrist, heart lifts high. Humble heart lifts. On an exhale, bow down, stretch, lead heart first. Bring your shoulder to the inside. You can always lower. Follow me. You guys can always lower that left knee to the mat while you're working on your balance, still bowing down and humble. Release your hands on either side of your right foot and forward fold, left knee to right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa flow. Move through your vinyasa and honor yourself in your practice. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, left side, inhale, left high. Exhale, left to left, two times, bring it to right, lift it high. One more time, left to left, over to right, lift it high, inhale, exhale, low crescent moon, step it through, lower your knee to the mat. Inhale, arms lift, interlace all ten fingers, release your index finger. Exhale, lift your heart high, find your back, and call a mudra. Mm -hmm. Release your mudra, stabilize, roll over your back, right toes, press up high, crescent lunge. And adjust, sometimes it takes a little bit of time adjusting there. Be sure your left knee is right over top of your, right over top of your left ankle. Press into your back, right toes, spiral your pinky fingers in, inhale. Exhale, shoulder, rinse, inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, bow down, knee with your heart first, bring your shoulder to the inside, and you can always lower right knee to the mat while you work on your balance. If you want more, tuck your chin up and engage at your navel. Release your shoulder, rinse hands on either side of your left foot, step forward, fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, hands plant, jump, step or hop to the back of your mat. Flowing through your vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. H-A. When lower to your knees, child's pose. Grab water, whatever your body needs. How's everybody feeling? Good. Down here, you're doing great. How's everybody feeling at home? You guys doing okay? I know, I just heard you guys say yes. <laughs> you guys are loving this special, that extra hour. I heard it, so we'll have more of this next time. Thanks for that. Come on back to the present moment. Connecting back to yourself. Coming back to your breath. Back home to your body.
from child's pose will thread the needle. So take your right hand, palm is up, thread it underneath your left shoulder. If it feels good, you're welcome to lift your hips high. That's one of my eyes. See the boat going there. <laughs> if, if it's okay for your neck, you can shift your gaze to the right side of the room. You can also take the variation of the shoulder uh, bind, bringing your left hand back behind you, thumb leads the way. You're also welcome to step out your left foot. Oh, we got all sorts of variations happening here. Most important is that you're listening to your body, doing what you need, honoring yourself. If you are looking to the left, bring your chin back towards center, release your variations, begin to bring your knee back underneath your body. Inhale, brings your right arm through center, lift it high. On an exhale, plant it down, maybe sink your hips, maybe shift your hips from side to side, a little bit of movement. Ah, oh, yeah, we got a hot and melting heart happening. We'll take the second side left, palm flip up, bring it underneath your right. And again, taking that variation, if it's okay with your neck, you can gaze to the right side, you can find the bind. You're welcome to step your leg out, honoring your body, as always. As the yogis say, we do what we want, right? <laughs> so even if I do it, we're going to do something different every time. And I am fine. That's why you love us. That's why I love you guys. This is absolute truth. If your neck is facing the right side of the room, bring your chin back, any variations you have, come on back. Bring your left arm through center, lift it high. On an exhale, plant it down, press up, find yourself in a tabletop position. From here, Kelly knew where we were going on a hot to melting heart. Bring your knees together, keep your hips stacked right over top. Slowly begin to lower yourself down to the mat. If this is too much for your shoulders, you can bend the cactus. You can always bring a block or a cushion underneath your hands. If you want more, bring your chin to the mat, face forward. Imagine in your mind's eye, your heart, a beautiful shade of green. And as you breathe and expand into your heart, you allow it to pool on the mat beneath you. Breathe in. Breathe out, slowly lower yourself all the way down onto your mat belly, down Shavasana. Take the time to roll your forehead from side to side if that feels good, just give it a little connection. Then bring your fingertips next to your chest, roll over your toes, press up high plank, lift your hips high, find your downward facing dog, and take your dog for a walk again, moving as you need to. Staying again connected to what works best for you. Let's shorten our dog, walk your hands back a little bit, take your right hand. It can either come to anywhere on your left leg. Bend your elbow, take your gaze underneath your left shoulder, breathe in. As you breathe out, pull. Take this where you would like it to go. Stay with breath. And release, go ahead and bring your right hand back. We'll take it on the left side, again, mindful of where you want to place your hand for your flexibility. Bend your elbow, gaze is under right shoulder, gently pull, elbow is bent, breathe in, breathe out and pull, breathe in, breathe out and pull, pull, pull. And release, come back to your dog, standard dog, right? Is that what we call it? <laughs> standard dog, standard Nikki dog, standard Kelly dog, standard Marianne. Shifting your legs from side to side. Udiyana by the core of it, coming back to your Ujjayi breath in and out through your nose. Inhale, right leg high, three legged dog. Exhale, right to right, over to left, five more times, lift to high. Right, left, four more times. Right, left, three more. Right, left, two more. Right, left, one more. We got this. Right, left, right, two more. Inhale on bring your knee to your nose, place your toes high, press and lunge, rise up. Your weight is 
my first time. I still got this. Settle in, spiral your pinky fingers in, get yourself set. Shoulder rinse, inhale, heart lifts high. Exhale, humble, reach, stretch, heart forward. Continue to press into your back toes. Again, you can always lower to your knees while you're working on balance. If you want to shift and challenge balance, gaze up to navel. Maybe you bring your mind towards the mirror. On the next cell, place your hands on either side of your right foot. Stabilize standing splits. Lift your left leg up high. You're welcome to stand standing splits just as you are. Keep your left leg active. It's not important how high the left leg goes. Just keep it squeezed. You can bring one or both hands back behind your calf. Or choose to go upside down for little donkey kicks. Again, it's not important how high that leg goes. Feeling and building muscle memory. Five, four, three, two. Come back to your standing splits. You know we're going to go with the Shiva squats. Tuck your knee and lift. Nikki's so excited. Five, lift it high. Four, three, two, one. Leave it high. Breathe in. As you breathe out, forward fold. Left knee's right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa plunge. Your hands move through your vinyasa. And on an exhale, find yourself in your downward facing dog. Big full breath in. H-A. Oh, I got space. I got your balance. Inhale, left leg high. <laughs> exhale, left to left. Over to right, lift it high. Left, right, lift it high. Four more. Left, right. Lift it high, three. Left, right, lift it high, two. Left, right, lift it high, one more. Left, right, lift it high, inhale. Knee to nose, flex your toes. High crescent. Step it through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, shoulder rinse. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, bow down. Good stretch. Find your variation, stay with your breath. And on an exhale, place your hands on either side of your left foot. Stabilize, standing splits, lift your right leg up high. Choose your variation. What do you need? Feel free to go upside down or join me for little kicks. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to your standing splits. It's Nikki's favorite Shima squats. <laughs> Tuck and lift. Five. Four, three, two, one. Lift your leg high, breathe in. As you breathe out, forward fold. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, flow on through. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, big breath in. H-A. Three rounds of breath here, last of our ladder series, last flow. Stay with your breath. We got this. I'll come on back. I'll join you with any garbage here. <laughs> you know what I think it is. I don't know what you're going to say. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right to right, over to left. Three more. Right, left, two more. Right, left, one more. Right, left, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, flex your toes, high crescent. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, shoulder rinse. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, bow down. Inhale. Exhale, place your hands on either side, standing split. Short time here, feel free to go upside down. Holding for four, three, Two, one, come back to your standing split, Shiva squats for four, three, two, one, lift your leg up high, airplane pose. Oh yeah, this feels good. Settle here, warrior two, begin to bend, land, open up, set yourself up, all landings are not perfect. Press into the knife, into your back foot, shoulders away from your ears. 
here, set yourself up. Reverse the warrior, inhale, reach forward, flip your palm, breathe and expand. Stay in reverse, begin to straighten your front leg, reach and stretch to the back of the room. Pyramid pose, bring both arms out wide. Level through your hips, reach forward. On an exhale, tilt. Again, this is a great spot for a water bottle, a block, a blanket, or a pillow. Reach and stretch. We're going to revolve. So place your left hand down slightly, step in your back foot. Lift your right arm up high. Plant your hands on either side of your right foot. Pivot your toe. Breathe in. As you breathe out, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Plant your hands. Jump, step, or hop back. Flow through your vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more side, ladies. You got this. Inhale, left. Left, right, two more. Left, right, one more. Left, right, inhale, left high. Exhale, knee to nose, flex your toes, high crescent. Ooh, I was gonna make that one. And inhale, exhale, shoulder rinse. Inhale, heart lift, humble stretch forward. The heart first. <laughs> Breathe in. As you breathe out, plant your hands on either side, standing splits, five seconds here, get upside down if you would like, donkey kicks if you would like, for three, two, one, come back to your standing splits, it's airplane day, Costa, come on, all the way up, ooh, look at that leg shake, warrior two, bend, land, <sighs> open up. Nice. Settle in. Press into the knife edge of your back foot. Reverse the warrior in. You'll reach forward. Flip. Breathe and expand to the back. And this feels good. Straighten your front leg. Keep reaching. Pyramid pose. Hands forward. And then tilt. Again, you can use any of your props, your bolster, block, cushions, water bottle. Revolve, plant your right hand down slightly, step your back foot in, lift your left arm up high. Place your hands on either side of your left foot, pivot your right toe, breathe in. As you breathe out, forward fold, right meets left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa, plant your hands, flow through. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, big deep breath in. H-A. Inhale, feels high. Exhale, knees low, look forward, jump step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full chair pose. Hips down, we have to get it in. Arms high, not raise the chair. Right? Reach for opposite elbows, come all the way up on your tippy toes. Bend your knees a lot, lift your heels high. Slowly lower yourself down to the mat for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sink your hips to your heels. Bring your hands to heart center, traditional malasana squat. Flick your heels together, walk your hands forward. Tent through your fingers, tuck your chin and brow. Breathe into the space behind your heart. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs, feel it in your low back, and breathe and expand into your upper back. Very slowly walk your hands all the way back forward. I'm not going to be graceful. We're going to come on down and take a seat. Anytime you sit down, it's great. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to shake the legs out of our chasana. We'll take that. Bend your right knee. Keep the left leg long. From here, take your first wrap. You can always get a strap 
or you can get a towel. Reach for your opposite hand. Peel open your left shoulder. If it's okay with your neck, your base can go over left shoulder. Begin to release your right knee. Allow your right knee to land on the mat. Lift your right or lower your right hand. Kneeling wild thing. Reach and stretch to the back of the room. Lift your hips up high. Throw your head back. Let it go. Very slowly begin to lower your hips down the mat. Keep your legs where they're at. Drop your sheer sasana. You can take your variation. You can either go sideways. You can square your body straight on. I'm going to take a little bit of a twist. So my right hand reaches for the outside of my left. You can always capture your left leg. And then I like to take the half bend with my left hand. Come back home to yourself. Three bounds of breath. Very slowly begin to bring yourself all the way back up. Extend your legs long, a little Hashimoto, shake it out. Find your sit bones. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, reach and stretch forward. I like to take it in two different ways. Reach, inhale, exhale, pull. Keep your heart lifted. Inhale, exhale, pull. One more time, inhale. Exhale, round. Let everything go. Breathe into the belly of your muscle. How are you guys feeling? Good. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff. Very slowly begin to bring your hands all the way back up. We'll take it from the opposite side. Bend your left knee. Again, your strap or your towel, that's handy for you. Bring your left hand around, capture with your right, peel your right shoulder back, take your base up and over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Press your sit bones down into the mat, connecting back to energy of earth. Release, lower left knee down, lower left hand, kneeling wild thing. Press, lift, reach to the back of the room. All oh, breathing space into your side body. And on an exhale, lower everything all the way back down. Again, we'll take that same stretch that we took on the opposite side, choosing your variation again. I'm going to take that twist. Find placement and settle in. Any areas that feel rough or sharp, send your breath through those areas. Allow them to soften and round out. Very slowly begin to come all the way back. Extend both of your legs, plant the soles of your feet into the mat, fingers face forward, reverse tabletop. Lift your hips up, throw your head back, opening whole front body chakras. Mm. Slowly lower your hips all the way down to the mat, keep your knees bent, lower yourself all the way down to your back. Take your feet about mat distance apart. Hands can come out to the teeth, that feels good, but just allow the knees to fall to the right side of the room. If you'd like to twist your legs up or extend your left leg long, it's your choice. This is a little bit more passive, but I like it because it utilizes our best friends, time and gravity. There's a little I'll say, take it on road trip. Slowly bring your knees back to 
towards your body. Take any sort of movements you need. You can look up, 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 up. We'll set up for the second side, feet about mat distance apart, and our arms can come to a T. Passively allow your knees to fall. No expectations of where your knees need to go. If you need support underneath your knees, again, you can always find a bolster or a cushion if you have a block at home. But just release any need for where this knee goes. Breathe and expand space where you need it. Breathe in, breathe out. Begin to bring your knees back towards center. Again, maybe happiest yogi on the block is where you want to go. You can bu -bu -bu bicycle your legs again. Then bend your knees, stack them side by side, reach around and give your knees a squeeze. Lengthen your spine on the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Squeeze. Feel your knees. Compression. Breathe in. Breathe out and squeeze on this next breath. Maybe forehead comes up and meets your knees. Squeeze in a teeny tiny ball of energy. Anything you have left, squeeze. Leave your ear on your mouth when you are ready. Open up. Welcome home. And I invite you to take up your space. Get comfortable on your mat. Take up your space and tune into sensation, how you feel. Allow your feet to be soft. Your ankles are so relaxed, feet flop out to the side. Calves and hamstrings soften. Quads begin to settle. You notice your glutes relaxing down into the mat as all corners of your mat reach up to welcome you home. Your belly is soft and you are always safe here. Shoulders melt down to the mat. Take a full deep breath in. Lion's breath, stick your tongue out. One more time, full as deep as breath in. Lion's breath. Allow your heart to expand into the space you've created for it today. Trusting you get to choose what you fill that space with. The muscles of your face soften. Your jaw relaxes. Tongue rolls away from the roof of your mouth. The space between your eyes softens. The space surrounding your eyes releases. Welcome home to yourself. As always, it is my deepest honor to serve as your teacher. I will never take advantage or take for granted your trust. My deepest love, my shiniest light, and my truest respect for all of you. I can't wait to practice in the room together with you and embrace you. We love you so much. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.